Like I said before, you always start with the instructions. So now we're actually going to install the CTS-3 tuner by Edge on my 2017 Ford F-250. 250s, a lot of 50s. And step one, locate OBD2 port. This is your data port where all of your information goes in and out. This is where your tuner is going to get the input or the data to show you on the screen. And it is right. <laughs> so now that we know where the cord's going to do, the installation on this is really simple. We already went ahead and put the screen in place on the arm. And so now we're just going to pry this panel off, route this cable, plug it into the unit, plug it into the port on the truck, and then we're done. You, then you start going through the maps and I'll show you all that kind of stuff and some of the options and features. As I learn them, you'll learn them. So here's rocket surgery. Uh, number one, you're gonna need these uh, detailing tools. You can find these at just about any auto parts store and this will make it to where you're not damaging the plastic panels as you're removing them and reinstalling them because if you use a screwdriver, metal wins over plastic. You're gonna score it up. Just a nice little twist of the wrist. You don't need to pry it, because again, you don't want any of the damage to be seen or to exist anyway. So figure out how to use it without the tool damaging what you're doing. So there's no evidence that you were there in the first place. Okay, here's the, uh, the port to the truck. So we're gonna leave that on the lower side and just go from underneath. Run this little guy up till you see it. Even my big meat hooks fit in here, so you won't have a problem putting your hand in. And then, there is a sneaky lie. Move it right through the vent. And so it's got a little bit of a, a low profile way to get to the unit. Hey. It's like I was never in there at all. Ah. Okay, now we plug this guy in. But again, you can remove this and still onto the back. Boop. There we go. One of the great things about this kit is it also comes with some zip ties. So whenever you're done with this part of the install, tighten things up, get it out of the way, be a pro. While I'm just zip tying, you're trying to look for these great places. There's actually a small hole. I'm not sure if you can see it there, but there's a small hole. That's a perfect size, there it is, for the zip tie. Put that through, and I'm actually going to try to go around the connector as well, just to keep it good and snug. Lots of easy places under here for you to hide these. It's almost like they did it on purpose. You also have your data port. I went ahead and found a gap just big enough for it. So we have to do software updates and et cetera. It's still exposed and it's a part of the zip tie chain that's gonna keep everything good and tight. So yeah, just look around for a little bit. Use your brain, you'll find some great places to tuck this stuff away. Make it that much better. Work it out.